Hey everyone! Today I'll teach you three unique transitions for your edits. So let's not waste any time and jump straight into transition number one. Get your clips ready and follow my steps. Make a new adjustment layer. Right click, new adjustment layer. And trim the adjustment layer according to your clips. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Lens Flare. Now double click on Dissolve Lens Flare and follow my steps. Now keyframe the Dissolve percentage and copy my values. Next, we need to adjust the hotspot angle. Select the second adjustment layer and drag and drop the effect again. Now we need to adjust the value and the angle the same way we did before. In Dissolve Lens Flare, when the animation completes, the screen turns black. To fix this, we need to add a background layer under both adjustment layers. This way, the transition will complete properly, without the black screen issue. Now we need to adjust the graph. Select the keyframes, and press F9. Then open the graph editor and make sure you're in the speed graph, not the value graph. Now, follow my steps. Do the same for the second adjustment layer. Select the keyframes, press F9, and adjust the graph. You can also play with the duration, depending on how long you want the transition. Increase or decrease the duration by adjusting the keyframes. It's totally up to you and how you want your transition to look. You can also add a whoosh sound effect for more detailing. I'll provide it in the description. And with that, our first transition is complete! Now let's move on to the second transition, the clock wipe transition. Keep your clips ready. For this transition, we need to overlap the clips. For example, if you want your transition to last one second, overlap them by one second. Now go to the effects and presets panel and search for clock. Double click on white clock and follow my steps. Keyframe the white percentage and go to the end of the clip. Change the value to 100. 
in edge softness, set the value to 30. Now, select the keyframes and press F9. Go to the graph editor. And this time, make sure you're using the value graph, not the speed graph. Then follow my graph. Now, let's add some extra sauce to make this transition pop. We're gonna add shake and glitchify for that cool, detailed look. So, make a new adjustment layer on top of your clip and trim it down. I'll provide my Shake and Glitchify preset in the description. And don't worry, it works perfectly on After Effects 2020 and above. So, add the preset that I provided. And adjust it the same way I do. glitch sound effects for extra detailing. These SFX are also in the description. No worries. And if you recognize my voice, then you are a true fan. Maybe too observant, maybe too smart. But either way, I like that. And with that, our second transition is complete. Now let's move on to the third transition, the smooth slide transition. Keep your clips ready, then enable motion blur for all your clips, right click, and select Null Object, and follow my steps. Press P on your keyboard. Make a keyframe for position, link the bottom layer to the Null. And at the end of the Null, change the X position value to minus 720. Now for the text and line part. Go to the text tool and select the vertical type tool. Type your text, it can be anything, like your name, a show name, or whatever you want. Trim the text layer according to the null. Next, select the Shape tool. Make sure no layer is selected, otherwise you'll create a mask. Follow my steps. Change the stroke color to white, and set the stroke size to 17 pixels. Trim the path layer, the same as the text. Precompose the text and shape layers, and go inside the precomp. Make a new adjustment layer on top and add the effects I'm adding. Follow my values exactly as I set them. Now go back to the main comp and enable motion blur for the pre-comp. Follow my steps exactly as I do. Thank you. 
Select the keyframes, press F9, and open the graph editor. Make sure you're in the speed graph, and follow my graph. Next, add a new adjustment layer for movement. It looks really good! Apply the preset I'll provide in the description. Finally, add a whoosh sound effect. And just like that, your smooth slide transition is ready. And that's it! You've learned three unique transitions today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it easy to follow. If you have any issues or questions, drop them in the comments. Also, if you want more presets, check out my Payhip link in the description. Keep practicing, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.